everybody, Amy with these Doodle Ranch coming to you with Lucille and Otto's puppies and with volume this time. So we're going to have a great video for you today. The puppies all played yesterday. We did temperament testing and now we're going to talk quickly about that before you get to watch them play. So here I have Cheddar. Cheddar wants to chew on his string. Cheddar is the yellow string. And um, real quick, as far as this litter goes, they're all a little bit more active than the others. So if you're looking for an active dog or a balanced dog, this is a good litter to choose from. Um, they're all very people-y. They want to follow you around. They want to be your companion. So these are gonna be amazing companion dogs. They may not settle in and, and watch Netflix with you for three or four hours as a puppy, but when they get this energy burned out of them as a puppy, then they will make wonderful balanced companion dogs. They just have a little bit more spunk in them for right now. So specifically on Cheddar, we found that he was very attentive. He followed well. He was um, very accepting to dominance. So that tells me that he's going to train very well. And he, he really just wants people. You can tell <laughs> he just really wants his people. So Cheddar is um, a light apricot with a liver nose. Show them your face, bud. He, again, he has no interest in the camera. He wants me, he wants people, he wants to climb up here. But he has a great liver nose. Um, one thing I wanna point out in comparison to the video from yesterday, these puppies are about a week younger. So while they don't look the same and aren't as fluffy, they will be. They're gonna have these great, beautiful round faces when their hair fluffs out in the next couple of weeks. So by the time they go home, what, you don't like me talking about you? You don't like that? By the time they go home, they'll be just as fluffy as the other litters you see. They're just about um, five to six days behind. So this is Cheddar and he is the yellow string. Next we have Blue and Blue is the blue string. He is an absolutely stunning red, very, very dark, beautiful face. Uh, you can tell from his picture over here that he is quite the poser. <laughs> He's a little bit more reserved than the others. He's stunning black nose, stunning black eyes. I mean, he's just a beautiful version of a red puppy. And he has two little white feet in the back. Very cute. So Blue's personality, Blue is more focused. He was playful, but he entertained himself. So he is a little bit more laid back than um, the fellas you can hear out there. <laughs> I apologize for the noise, um, but these puppies are raring to go and ready to be picked. So. They're, you're like a little bobblehead. Yes, uh, Blue is way more laid back than his brother Cheddar, but he is um, an excellent choice. Again, loves people, follows well, just did all the right things for the temperament testing and is especially um, just chill. I mean, look at this guy. Laid back as all get out and he'll let you do whatever. He makes no noise while this litter is vocal. Blue doesn't seem to be one of the ones that uh, that needs to be. I think he's going to go to sleep on me. So I will pass him off and we'll pull out the next guy. But again, this is Blue, the blue string. Here we have Jack. Jack's got some spunk to him. Jack is the red string and he is an absolutely beautiful red uh, solid, not a speck of white on him. He's got the liver nose and the Green eyes, yes. Um, again, Jack's another one that wants people. He hears me. <laughs> he, he's got a little spunk. He's not performing well. I promise. He actually performed better yesterday. Um, Jack's got some energy today. So we're going to let him go back and play. Um, but as far as my notes for Jack, he did entertain himself. He wasn't constantly needing people. Um, he just wants people right now. Okay, Jack. Okay. You're not helping your cause there, buddy. <laughs> he's... All right, so Jack, real quick before he just flips out of my lap. Self-play, loves people, deep red color with the liver nose. I know, yeah, he does not want to look at the camera, folks, so he is your lover. Okay, I know, thank you, thank you, sir. All right, so we're going to let him go back and play. <laughs> this is Jack, and he's the red string. And this is the first of our girls from Lucille's Litter. This is the pink string, Feta. Feta is a beautiful apricot with that black nose and those deep black eyes. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. She has tiny bits of white on her that make her an abstract. 
And as far as personality goes, Feta is spunky. If you thought Jack was spunky in the last view, Feta will give him a run for his money. Um, she's got some energy. She's gonna be wonderful for a family with lots of kids or a family um, or a couple that is interested in uh, hiking and, and more energetic things. She's gonna need to burn a little bit more energy as a puppy. She'll balance out to a wonderful cockapoo as an adult, but she's got a little bit of extra in her. So Spunky, um, she did self-play just as well, but she loved other dogs. So if you have another dog and you're considering her, she's gonna be a wonderful addition to that. Can you tell them hi with, no, she wants to hear my voice. So this whole litter loves voices and I do, I go talk to all the puppies every morning. So they do recognize my voice just a little bit, but I think they're gonna be receptive to anyone. So Feta, wonderful little girl here, uh, apricot with the black features and uh, she is the pink string. And this is Brie, the purple string. Brie is um, a little bit more laid back than the other female in this litter. Brie is a little bit darker. She's a kind of a mixture of a light red, dark apricot. She's gonna keep this color and be absolutely stunning. Great coat. She has the black features. She'll let me do whatever I want. So we got a good girl right here. Um, same as the rest of the litter, she was very playful. She self-played well. Um, our other keywords for, for Brie were sweet and fun. So Brie, out of the two females, is the more reserved. Um, better for uh, empty nesters or single. Looking for um, an easy companion that will be well for you if you work from home. Um, she's going to fit right in immediately. That doesn't mean the others in the litter won't they may just need a little bit more encouragement on the uh, calm down area. So this is a good little girl right here and this is the purple string Brie. Now we have Romano, the green string. Romano has got some spunk in him too. He is the apricot version of Jack. So Romano, beautiful, this luscious apricot color, black features, um, Beautiful, beautiful face. That is gonna fill in to the roundest face you've ever seen. But again, no interest in what's going on outside of the humans. If I'm talking, he wants me. Yes, um, great, great guy. He's gonna be a wonderful companion. He is vocal, he's a climber. This guy's adventurous. If you've got adventurous kids or you like to go hiking, this is a wonderful option. Um, he's gonna need to burn that extra energy off and um, you know, you enjoying it with him is gonna make it even better. So someone who's looking for just a tiny bit more energy, this guy is gonna be phenomenal. And that is Romano, the green string.